right now off to a great start against the defending national champs. 12 point lead. Bellamine, they're double teaming him. Got a shot over Oliver. First basket of the night comes nine minutes into the game, though. Elamine, and where is Mr. Freeman? Elamine in the paint. He's got it. Can't let him get into there. He must have curl move. Right, maybe. Mark Madsen, a hamstring problem is a report we got from the locker room. And uh, we certainly hope that's not severe. Elamine buries he's, another jumper. He's heating it up. And that... Trying to work through a pick, and now Elamine, he's going to start dealing. Nine in a hurry for Elamine. Point game now, and they can cut further into that advantage right here. And Brad, that gets back to the theme we talked about earlier, point guard play. This guy steps it up, Connecticut steps it up. Oliver goes out, they have a shutdown. Jump shot. And they have really come out here with a purpose and they have scrapped, board and been so well coached. Bellamine's open again, got it again. He's on fire, baby, he's on fire. He's now showing why he's rated as one of the premier point guards in America. Three-point ball game, quite. Bellamine got out of the pile with it and throws one up. Got his own rebound and stuck it in. Oh, what a play right there. That could be the play of the day right there. Bellamine in traffic, kicks back outside to Morin. Deng's going to take another three. That's an air ball. Elamine is there to knock it in. They might have gotten it. Mooring. Elamine crossover against Donald with the left hand. He got it. Great move by Elamine right there. Hey, from the Gamecocks. He almost went to Stanford. You see the shot clock now down to six as Elamine launches and rolls it home. I tell you, he got rolled into that second half. He was brilliant last night in the second half. And certainly when you look at Purdue with Cornell and with Cardinal, this could be a heck of a year. Mike Dunphy, trying to stay with Khaled Alameen, which just isn't going to happen. That's an interesting yeah, defensive right. assignment. Trevor Gaines and the Huskies control the tap. And it's Khaled Alameen with the first shot of the game. Well, that sure took a long time. <laughs> I'll say, a friendly roll right there by Alameen. They look for Saunders down low instead to cutter Alameen. Freeman to Robertson. Elamine, the wide open look. Got it. Another three. Good shot, Bob, and I think it got rejected going to the goal. Elamine for three again. Oh! Elamine really lighting it up, and it's UConn. Team fired up after that, that opening game loss. They seem really focused out here tonight, going at this game with a vengeance. People will be a real key in the middle for Vermont this year. Fox kick out to Elamine. And he remains on fire. 14 Florida State by 14 for the fact. Backdoor cut, then to Elamine. Shot clock down to five. Elamine on the spin, gets it off, and uses the glass. Uses the rim as protection with the reverse layup. Elamine for three. By Wren, Dang to Elamine, goes right by Orsiari. Roach with his fourth and fifth points of the night. UConn up 29 in the lane. El Amin for a couple of more. He's got 25. 9 and 9 here at Camp of Pavilion. This arena is nearly 10 years old. El Amin for three more. Oh, what a shot. 28. <laughs> you, watch, you sit on the bench and watch a couple of teammates get some baskets and you don't get any <laughs> just drills a rainbow. UConn has been terrific on the offensive glass. And, and that's partially because of effort. That's partially full blockout on the part of UMass as Alameen takes it to the baseline. He made a shot a little bit more like Rip Hamilton. The All-American now playing for the Washington Wizards. Wow, there's some creation right there. Yeah, with the stick. <laughs> it was awesome. And as good an ambassador for the sport as he was a player. Alameen. Making tough shots. Making tough shots look easy. Nine players score. But you know what? UConn still got to find another score. Khalil Alameen, a good one. By the end of the year, he'll be worn out. If he didn't want it. He didn't even look at the basket. He didn't look where his defender was. He didn't look at the basket. That's the one he's got to look for. Shot clock running down. That means it's Alameen time. <laughs> when you got it going, you got it going. Sims and Kahigas is going to have to handle the ball well if they're going to be have any chance Warren got a piece of it and Elamine ends up with the layup from Freeman he's one of my favorites too he's a warrior 
is El a little ball fake in for the laps and a little guy scoring early bodies. El off the curl. Rattles that one. Tell you what, Jake looks a lot more confident in finishing around the basket this year. Only two Coppin State players have scored. El lays it in with the left hand. Kofi Pointer. Kofi Pointer. Gets one over the long arms there. Nine points for Porter. Elamine. Score this year on the interior. And he's showing tonight why he can score a little bit. Elamine puts one up. I guess he, he knows he's going to be coming out, so let's get a couple up there and see what we can get. 42 16. Lineman trying to throw Connecticut's rhythm out of whack. They will be prepared. Elamine jumper, good. It's a three ball for Colin Elamine. Alameen being guarded by Cahigas takes him inside. Runner in the lane is good. Put it off the front rim. You can't play Alameen that tightly. If you get Alameen off the pick. Oh, what a spin. Nice. Play. Oh, yeah. That was worth the price of admission right there. Gives it up to Suleiman Juan. High rebound. Boy, wrench on some ups there. Alameen fade away inside the foul line, rattles it home. <laughs> I've seen some games now, some interconference games. Big East teams against other mid majors as LMA knocks one down. <laughs> Big East. Came, came down with the arm and got a lot of leather. There's Mooring coming up on a minute and a half to go. Short baseline jumper. I tell you what, he's got a sweet, soft shot, LMA. What a lineup here. You got Ren, LMA, Cox, Juan. And Saunders, Ren not in the right place, so Elamine is going to take it himself with six, and he knocks it down. <laughs> UNC Ashley, they're just going to try to, you know, get the composure right here, get a couple of stops defensively, and see if they can whittle away. But that was just like that one. Ouch. Road schedule, but just schedule in general. Just going to have to try to keep their confidence together. Foul at Elamine. Yeah. It pass, he picks it up. Elamine's going to take the jumper through traffic. That's what he does well, Brad. He gets right in the gaps and seems. And the reason they play that game is because Ed Kobe's former high school coach, Locke Eisenberg, was on their staff. Well, he got an open look, and that time he nailed it. Indianapolis in 97 helped them recruit him. Elamid's got another look. Got another three. I'll tell you, he's three feeling three. it. I mean, you just look at his eyes. Freeman kicks it back out. Elamid's open. Got it. I'll tell you, Elamid, if he squares that body, he's got that great release. Duke in 94, Washington last year. This is the third grade eight for Arizona as well. Elamid has been on fire. And they're going to beat a lot of people as long as that little guy's at control. When he's 25 feet ahead of the crowd and there's no one around him, all that pass really did was beat Lauren Woods. If he caught it out of bounds, it was a turnover waiting to happen, right? A lot of rebounds. 40 points between the two teams. Elamine pulls up from 15 and got another. Isn't that what an All American does? A PT here. Elamine looking for a pick from Bosco and takes the jumper and got it. You got to get over the top of that screen. Saunders didn't get the pick out deep enough for him, and Gardner came right around with him. There, he got around Gardner on the outlet pass and got it. There's the big guy stepping up again. I call him big guy. I don't care if he's 5'11", man. He's a big guy with a rock's in his hand. Don't worry. Scott Harmatuk, number 22 in the lineup, along with Arsini Kuczynski, number 33. Elamine Pullock. Beautiful fake right there. He just up fake. Three is blocked by Dang Vosco. The home run pass to Elamine. Please try to go at people inside, and please tried a couple of times. Good move right there. Elamine off balance. Doesn't matter. No good. Bosco with another rebound. Thought he was going to dribble up the floor himself. Look at the pass. Elamine to Mori. Elamine, does he have eyes in the back of his head or what? Look. Take another look at the pass from Elamine. Looked like the ball might have got hung up a little bit on his hip. <laughs> well, right away, he sees the defender. I think it's Harris. It just kind of brings that ball back, double clutches it, and mooring the beneficiary on a couple of plays. And, boy, Harris has just had a very, very tough time with just that three-pointer today for the Rams. Oh, there's Elamine again. If you can hold your own on the boards. Nice shake by Elamine. He's got it. That's a two, two-point shot for Khaled Elamine. Drawing those fouls like that. Elamine with the pull-up. Got it. Well, he is so good. Using that body to get into the defender. Back. The first two points 
of the evening for Younger, who had a career-high 32 last time out. Uh, El Amin terrific. with the basket and the foul. Terrific move. Saunders cross court to El Amin, makes the catch, throws up the three. Got it. He is hot right now. His first three on the Cougars. El Amin comes around the screen. Goes right by Gervin. Ah, terrific play. What do you think? I doubt it. We're Khaled El Amin in Minneapolis. Well, you never know. Minneapolis, go outside move. the city, maybe. Oh, <laughs> terrific move. Nothing there. El Amin for three. Thank oh. you. Oh, oh. Thank you. He's got 18 points. Oh. Score. Well, Vosco's doing a terrific job defensively tonight. El Amin for three more. I want to tell you what, and I thought he got fouled. Freeman to inbound, finds El Amin in traffic, loses the handle, gets it back. <laughs> what great hands. Misses the free throw, five points nice for Gervin. Pass. Robertson to El Amin for his... For a year ago. Out of that basketball hotbed of Minot, North Dakota, as El Amin hits for two more. He's got 27. The right hand this time. Robertson has the rebound, looks to El Amin. He's got Freeman on the wing. Stop and go. Stoop and score. Oh. Inside Welch on the drive too strong. Bosco the rebound. Here comes El Amin. Three on three. El Amin penetrates, shoots, and scores. Boy, he knows how to get in there and read the defense. Take what the defense gives you. Johnson in double figures now. With 10, here's El Amin into the lane, pushes it up and in. He's starting to take over a little more offensively now, Ronnie. Back. Finds El Amin. Oh, what a move by El Amin. He's got eight points, six in the second half. Huskies looking for a 20-point lead. This is a three, and it's good. They'll get a 21-point lead. El Amin with 11. Looks like Pitts playing a 2-3 zone early. That's what Notre Dame played the other night. It will invite the jump shot. Well, Clear's been looking for the open jumper. They double up on him down low. Here's a steal by El Amin ahead of the pack. And Khaled El Amin with a tremendous play. And you can see the burst he has. In fact, they say he is the most gifted player in the program with overall talent. Quite a statement when you consider the talent. El Amin, as he did, is going 34 against Notre Dame. Come the Huskies. Mooring has hit four of four shots in the second half, including that last three-pointer. And El Amin now takes it down east like no team in the 20-year history of the conference. In the last 10 years, six Big East regular season titles as El Amin strokes three. And that's a two-pointer. Now with their win at Miami today, they have a great freshman guard you haven't heard about yet, Sean Williams from the same high school as well in his first game against Houston. Elamine gets his first two. Just a matter of time. Had to put the turnaround. Not there. Bosco clears and quickly out to Elamine. Oh. Got it to go. That was a great play right there. Elamine off oh, the day. Nice dish. Are you serious? That's why he's an All-American. The 3D man. He well, that one is off the mark by Williams. Look at that pass. Right on the money. There's the dunk. Get it to you, baby. Get it to you, Ricky B. Here with the nation's elite day in and day out. They're still going to win a lot of games this year because of men, as you see, that'll be with the score. But they are back foot. Really hasn't had the ball that often either. Well, they got caught in the switch there, and Elamine knocks it home. He's just made two great plays. He made the screen and roll play. He had a big first half. Elamine, little skip. Off the glass, first field goal of the game. And you can't keep him down, and that's what he does so well. Elamine guarded by Braswell. And Braswell got behind, but the steal couldn't get it. You know, we got some good players, but struggling a little bit right now. Coach got you to pull them together, though. Elamine for three. Elamine, Braswell. Now top of the key. There's the pick from Deng. And the jumper from Elamine. And See, UConn has taken control. It's take control. Entry pass stripped by Deng at the other end. Here's El Amin. Why not? <laughs> Why not? He's an entertainer. He's casual. Jump hook over the extended arms of Rudin. El Amin with the steal and the layup. Boy, he's having fun. There's nothing. 
UConn was able to come in and play their game. They played some great defense tonight. Took Georgetown. Uh, in to stop a fast break. Warren back to Elamine. That's a three. Good. I tell you, he's been money this year. He's been the premier point guard in the United States. Two state championships. Syracuse in the zone. Elamine trying to shoot over it for three. Robertson from deep, a little too deep. Big rebound by Mooring. Helamine for three, gets it. We'll see him tonight at the point. He's tried Rodgers. Now he's trying Gerald Wright. Earlier in the year, he tried Jamal Kama. Elamine hits the right side jumper. Well, anytime you get penetration, good things can happen. And Cox did the job. Now he's got the steal. Finds Elamine on the left. And with that basket, Khaled Elamine has jumped into 12 on the career scoring list at UConn, moving ahead of Art Quimby. Saunders gets loose inside. It's blocked by Shabazz. Comes down to Boring. Out to Elamine for three. That's just good hustle by Connecticut. Champions, you got to get up to a good start. And the first thing, Seton Hall has accomplished that. Elamine penetrates, gets it off, and scores along the baseline. Fire shooting 63.6% from the field. They're trying some zone now. Elamine on the pump fake. Oh, friendly rim. Nicely done. And Seton Hall beat the number 12 team last year at their place by about 15. Oh, my goodness. Elamine with a little double shake. And I tell you what, Kevin Freeman changed it a breakout. Elamine, one man to beat. Elamine takes it himself and scores. He has an uncanny knack of protecting the basketball. Let's go with the rebound. And that makes four on the day for Jake. Elamine shoots over the top. Three is good. Elamine. He's got an 8 0 run. Timeout, Seton Hall. It's an 11 8 zone over lead here at the First Union Center as Elamine used the dribble to get open. 12 and white. You saw check in Andrew Sullivan out of London, England. El Amin lost him on a switch, and Colin gets the deuce. Oh, uh, clean it all up. Three quarter. El Amin, nobody stopped him. He'll take three. And that's why you got to come up and play for the guy. Smith with El Amin. Now you don't want to foul now. Just guard. El Amin lost his man. Oh, Down three. Onions. The kid has got it. Where are the Spartans? Excellent hesitation move to the inside. Please, please, the fast break. He's going to end up getting the guy that's open. Off the glass for Elamine. Connecticut has beaten both of those teams. So it shows you the crazy balance of college basketball. Elamine for two. Battling Voskel down in the hole. Elamine with a leaner. Ooh, a runner. Boring inside. Elamine. Away from Bell to boy, he hit some shots in tough position. Elamine, a candidate for national player of the year, junior from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Both parents making the trip to East Lansing to watch him play, and he drills on cue. Two on that play, and Bell loses it. Mooring with Elamine all alone at the other end. There's a term for that. Elamine hurt himself, and that's why he wasn't back down court. Well, look at the quick hands of the team Cleves. Way downtown. As long as he stays, Tom Mitchell isn't going any place for the next three years. That's 12 for Richardson. Elamine pops and hits another three. Midway point of the first half. Elamine comes around the screen, puts it on the floor, and hits it. Traffic. Freeman up top. Now it's Elamine. Let's see if he tries to go on hard, using his quickness. Now that's not what you want to see. You want to see the fight. It's become really a tradition for Connecticut and very unusual. Oh, nice shot. The season. Bell pushed it that time. BC needs more of that. Oh, someone's got to step in there. BC looking tired right now. At five and three in the Big East. They are exactly halfway through the conference schedule. Now I for three. <laughs> Way up in the air for that rebound. Guards aren't supposed to jump like that. Elamine right back with another three. And Al Skinner says, let's talk it over. It's a 20-point UConn lead. Just kind of trickled off his hands, although it wound up in the lap of a teammate. Elamine, nice feed to Dang. Oh. Never really in the game at Michigan State. Look at that dish by Elamine shifting in midair to the left hand. 
Connecticut with a 14 rebound advantage in this one. Just another indicator that they're just taking oh, over. Oh. El Amin with the stop and go dribble. But it's shooting off the dribble. And the ball is taken away by El Amin. A steal for UConn. El Amin against two defenders pulls up and knocks it down. And all of a sudden, the Huskies come as the leading scorer for the Huskies. Shine steps to Elamine. Final three. Elamine takes it to the goal. Oh, maybe a little personality right there. They need a little charge. Boring now down to Elamine, who finally finds his way free and glides to the hole. And then with a wonderful job, too, is the post guy. Tommy Emigrant wants the timeout, but they got lost on the post screens. Good slip, but tough one to handle. Freeman to Elamine, pulls up, floaters good. Now you see that, how he stopped and didn't charge. No good, Morton goes out to the rebound, but Dane gets there first to Elamine. Calcanus chases him down, Elamine with the finish, plus the foul. And that's it, number five, I think, on the issue there. Bosco got a piece, here's Elamine. It's a three on three, Elamine, pull up three. Well, nice shot. He got boxed out pretty hard on that play, too. There could have been a foul right after the shot. First put back, but then tips in the second. Boy, nice effort by the Mountaineer front line. El Amin driving right down the lane with the left hand. Passer from that spot. Freeman finds El Amin for three. His second of the night and 51st of the year. He is just ready. Got to come and receive that ball. Oh, nice play. El Amin received that one. Races up the floor. Can he beat the Mountaineers? And the foul! <laughs> oh, what balance! What a read by El Amin. He knows how to create in there and use his body to deflect the defense. Foul on Lionel Armstead, his first. Well, this is the offense off the defense. UConn needs more of this. Talk about El Amin. This is some good quickness. He draws the defense and finishes with that soft touch. Corey leads the team in scoring and rebounding. Elamine pull up in the lane. And the senior from Minneapolis now with 13 points for the Huskies. Everything rebound to Kevin Freeman. Oh, that's a way to excite the crowd if you throw up an air ball. Elamine for three. Got it! And he does run the baseline. Gets it to Elamine. Here we go. Elamine for the win. Guarded by Lyles. The shot. Got it! It counts! And UConn wins on senior night! What a game here at UConn. El Amin gets it done. Unbelievable finish. Good hands by Salvi. Then finds El Amin, and El Amin finds the bottom of the net. Let a passing lane if you're trapping. Elamine got a screen and hit the three. And they've been pained by slipping behind. And Juan the rebound. Suleiman Juan back into the game for Bosco. A little hesitation by Elamine and he buries it. And he got rid of the traffic with that particular play. Off the rim and rebounded by Freeman. A leak out by Elamine. Leans in for two. Smart play by Elamine. He understood two things right there. The ball was up for grabs. But he understood the shot clock was an advantage for UConn. He took a chance and it paid off. These teams, when these teams, when they're playing at home, have huge advantages. Elamina three. Book it. Oh, there's a rhythm. You can see it. If you've watched the Huskies play before, especially after last year. It on the perimeter for Robertson. They want to react to Mooring on the perimeter. Elamina three. Knocks it down. Huskies had a tough practice yesterday afternoon that we got a chance to watch. Pretty good balance, though, in the long shot. Syracuse, two men back. On the move, Elamine, jump shot. That's where he is deadly. He keeps the pressure on. Shumpert having his problems. Elamine. Yes, Dallas, and a foul. So good at keeping the pressure on offensively. The one thing about Elamine, though, he's got 12-foot range, breaking people down. Shot clock. Down to six. Elamine, a three. Got it! Thomas did a pretty good job. He stepped out, did not allow Alameen to get into the lane. Tana, UConn, 53 to 47. Run. Alameen has to go find the basketball. 
15 to shoot. Freeman. Elamine a three. Oh. Yes! Money. Big time chase. There's where you have to track the basketball down. For Rutgers coming up tonight as they take on Troy Murphy and Notre Dame in a huge game for the Irish. Elamine, great ball movement by the Huskers. Last year. All kinds of size to Ajo Dang. Back by, stripped by Elamine. What a play. Looks stronger, looks healthier, looks more confident, and typical. Elamine back in on the perimeter along with Mooring. The two of them combined for 44 points in the win over BC during the regular season, and there's two more for Comet. Well, he knows how to hesitate using the high pick and an attitude as sure, well. Sure, sure. Sort of typifies what the success of UConn has been. Guys are giving up, the, giving up themselves, and he's got a little give and take. Comet. As soon as the final horn sounds, this one. I just didn't invert the turn over here. Look at this. Does he look quicker? Look at this. Oh, man. it all. Now, the defense, he was in position, but it was an inadvertent bounce away or misuse of the dribble. But blowing by, able to handle with either. And just behind it, that's just extraordinary. A little kiss at the end with a semi baby hook. Back to Morin. Melanie open for three. They occasionally get the backfire. You know, Alice readily. You know, that's a concern. Don't put them on the free throw. Don't bite on those kind of plays. Melanie gets into the paint and hits. Now that's that bite at the top. Holloway, big people against Seton Hall. Nice double. Melanie again. It's tough. Same area. Once he gets by the top. Lane loses it, and here comes Tony Robertson. Leading a wave of Huskies, El Amin with the finish. How about the adjustment, too? Games this year. Gifted athletic wing player. As El Amin hits again, they could post up, and here it is. They, they want to establish. Look at the check out by Jake Fosco. I mean, that's just a wonderful clear out by the big body. The rebound. That's the time a year ago. What a feed to Vasco. And a foul. Room service. Oh, my goodness. He's a summer vacation. The hesitation and now everybody drawn to the action. And, Jake, how about a silver platter? Couldn't happen any easier. He doesn't even ruffle his hair on this one, Jake. <laughs> oh, wow. late, though. That's pretty tough to handle. See, has got to weather the storm. Lamin looking for a seam, oh. finds the glass, and he's just taken over. Well, yeah. goes Vosco back to Elamine. Ten on the shot clock. Elamine with 24. Oh, he's just coming. So, more wrenching is Holland without the ball with the left hand. Oh, come on, come on. Elamine <laughs> gets in the middle. Robinson couldn't get there. Hayes, three. First shot of the night. First make of the night. Braswell watching El Amin. Colin lost his man and got two. Nice look at the defense. And now, Utah doing a much better job on the offensive glass this half, and that's really what's helped get them this lead. El Amin hit a big shot. Reggie Miller. <laughs> Saunders. Able to finish. Fourth game in four days, but the Huskies used nine last night in the victory over Georgetown. El Amin, who scored 30 in the quarterfinal victory, always dreams about being in that position and being successful. It happens to very few, though. And Anthony Glover's got something that he can put in. St. John's got him late when Duke has matured. And St. John's got him at Cameron. Powell hits a three. Timeout. Huskies with 101 to go. It's a seven-point game. We started when this league started in 79. And it's our privilege to be here once again for the entire tournament. El Amin hit the hoop. Chances missed by Utah State. El Amin. Oh, he's only 5'10". In there with the big players. But Dimitri Jorson of Utah State. And it's 17-10. El Amin quickly to the other end to counter for UConn with a two. To Utah State. Elamine with 10, fires from three, and it hits again. It's 22 to 10. UConn's biggest lead, and led by Elamine with seven. Clock ticking down, the end of this first half, a minute and a half to go, as Elamine up with 
A 12 footer and it's 37 27 Huskies. Elamine. Oh, he's so aggressive inside for a small man. You just forget how at 5'10 how he takes charge. Utah State staying in that zone defense. They try to load up on Mooring side. Elamine drills a three and it's 45 39. Elamine with 14 to lead. to go he tries the three and hits it oh my would this be a story if he can limp along and guide this team from a come from behind 12 points 38 34.